Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, so more sewing and another maternity make, maternity um, clothing piece that I've made. So this is another from my Megan Nielsen um, pattern set that I got. So I already made um, two tops which were the Cara ruche top and then this is the Erin skirt and I bought it in a set of four patterns that came as PDF for about £30. And I'm kind of trying to decide whether it was a good idea to do this or not. Um, just in terms of how much money it'll cost to make the maternity clothes as opposed to how much they cost just to buy them um, and then the quality of the makes that I'm uh, producing which is partially my own sewing ability not just the, the you know concept of sewing your own maternity clothes how much wear I'm actually going to get out of them which is um, determined obviously by the fact that you're only pregnant for a, a few months uh, I'll be wearing these clothes for a few months um, and also the fact that now we're under kind of a lockdown or trying to self-isolate so I'm not really leaving the house very much so I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of some of these things particularly this skirt. Um, I really like the colour of this fabric um, I don't know if you can see, no, <laughs> it's not going to focus properly, but it's like a textured um, jersey, kind of a medium weight. I got it from Minerva Crafts. It wasn't very expensive, um, but it does feel quite nice. Um, yeah, I like the textured. It just gives it like a, a different look and, um, and it kind of it makes it look more like bottoms um, as opposed to like fabric you'd use for a top because sometimes jersey, that really thin jersey, you only really want to use for like t-shirts and if you try and use make it you know into a skirt it'd just be too thin you'd be able to see through it it'd show everything and um, this is thicker heavier weight and it has the texture to it which is nice and like I said I also like this green colour when I was younger I used to hate the colour green but now I'm old um I actually really do like green these days um this skirt looks super weird on the hanger it starts off looking pretty wide at the waistband then kind of goes in and then it has like a ruffle at the bottom so it kind of slightly fishtails out it looks really weird on the hanger it actually fits better than you would expect when I'm wearing it like it looks like a skirt should look and um, there were three different versions two of them were just different lengths and then the third version had this uh, little ruffle on the bottom as well the pattern itself, like the other Megan Nielsen patterns that I have tried, um, is pretty simple and straightforward. There's only four pattern pieces, so the front, the back, the waistband, and then the ruffle if you choose to do the version that has the ruffle on the bottom. Um, so it was pretty straightforward. Um, I used my new um, cutting mat, which you probably... It's this pink thing behind me. Um, I finally got one that's like big enough for my table. Um, and that works so much better than just carving into the table with my rotary cutter. Although I don't think my rotary cutter is really sharp enough. So it still doesn't cut through the fabric fully. And something went wrong when I was cutting out one of the skirt pieces. And the bottom of it was all wonky. And that was just purely me when I was cutting it out. I'm not entirely sure what happened. But it's quite frustrating I suppose. I just don't have a great setup. I mean I'm quite lucky in the sense that I do have a craft table which other people don't but it's not actually really big enough to spread a full piece of fabric out properly um, and then like I said my rotary cutter just probably isn't sharp enough so it's not going through the fabric in one go. I have to go back over it a few times and then that's quite difficult to keep in a straight line and not deviate a little bit when you are cutting out. Uh, my mum got me um, these very cute um, like fabric weights that you can't really see um, on the screen but they're very cute so I've got six fabric weights now instead of just using like my phone and like a drink or whatever <laughs> whatever like completely um, silly uh, item I managed to find to weigh the fabric down so they work pretty well but I probably need more of them for like bigger pieces because I kept having to move the weights around and then that could potentially slightly shift either the pattern piece or the fabric when you're moving the weights around um, so I probably just need to get more of those but anyway the skirt itself um, I went with a medium size um, the fabric is supposed to have 40% stretch and I don't think it quite had as much stretch as it should have done. I went for a medium and I'm thinking I potentially should have gone for a large but I do find it really hard to work out what size to go for when I'm doing my own patterns. No, not, not doing my own patterns. When I'm sewing from um, patterns that I've bought they do obviously put on the measurements 
on the, the back of the pattern, but I just never really found them particularly helpful. They never quite seem to relate. My waist is smaller than my, my hips, um, reasonably significantly, like a size or two smaller, so I do find it hard. My waist will be one size, my hips will be a completely different size, and I never know which one is the most important one to go for. Probably the hips, but then it ends up, things end up being far too big around the waist. So, since I did a small, I think in the tops, I just went up to a medium for the skirt. And with this fabric not being quite as stretchy as it should be, it is quite tight. It is kind of like a pencil skirt, I suppose, but it just feels just like a little bit tight and maybe I won't be able to wear it for too long because I'll grow out of it as my bump gets bigger, which goes back to what I was saying at the beginning of how much use am I actually going to get out of these clothes, how much use am I going to get out of that skirt. Now that I'm working from home and not really going out anywhere, it's not the kind of comfortable item that you would want to sit in on the sofa whilst you're like hunched over a laptop trying to do work, because that's the realities of home working. Um, it's more something that I might want to wear going out somewhere. Um, had envisaged that at this part of my pregnancy when I was feeling a bit better and the weather was nicer we'd be able to go out places and do more stuff that's not the case so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get that much use out of the skirt which is kind of a shame given that I've spent the money on the pattern and the fabric and obviously I've made it um, but we'll see um, I just need to properly try it on and wear it because I've not actually properly worn it yet um, yeah other than that it all came together pretty well. The construction was relatively easy. I very stupidly didn't change the colour of my thread, so the waistband does have grey thread running across it. Not even like a fun contrast colour, just like grey. It looks just look a bit odd. I just really should have changed it. I did change it for when I was hemming the ruffle, and I used my twin needle, which I love. I managed to break my last one, so I had to wait for a new one to come in the post before I could actually start sewing. Um, the skirt and but it's so worth it it's just it looks so much neater and it's so much easier than a stupid zigzag stitch um so yeah twin needle all the way um and yeah it was pretty straightforward um construction um that's kind of all i've got to say on the skirt um if anyone has made the skirt this is the erin skirt from megan nielsen if any of you've made it i have any thoughts please let me know and um, if you have any other interesting thoughts leave them in the comments if you've liked the video please give me a like and if you'd like to see more please subscribe uh, my next make is another should be another megan nielsen top and i have a pile of pink jersey there waiting to be made into a wrap top hopefully if i get my act together um we'll see but that should hopefully be quite wearable in the house and outside and stuff and the two i think will look quite nice together Possibly. Just the colour combination I think will be quite springy. I look like a flower. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. Anyway, yes, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like that.